Hi digital marketers, this is Faisal Amin, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to set up TikTok Pixel Conversion API both browser and server. You can see that that is my client TikTok Event Manager and already I am set up for each and everything because that, that is my client live project. Already I completed the post. Firstly, you have to create the TikTok Ads Manager account. After creating this account, you just follow the some basic step. After that, you can find this kind of interface. But if you are new, do not understand how to create the pixel on TikTok, then you can go to my YouTube channel playlist. Then here I had already described each and everything. How can you create the TikTok pixel on your business? So no more delay let's get started so firstly you have to collect the base code to implement the um uh, page view event and you know that for the tiktok pixel you are only not insert a pixel code to activate the page view event you must be need the uh, view base code here you can see the pixel code or base code so we ju you just copy the base code and back to your uh, google tag manager and here you can see that i am putting the tiktok base code uh, tag which i am copy from the uh, tiktok event manager section here you can see that i am putting the base code and triggering will be the all pages each and every uh, pages we have to implement the base code in one so next one is uh, after page after set up the page view event we just go to tiktok view item event and here you can see that i am adding the tiktok pixel id now question is where you find out the pixel id if you go to the event manager section here you can see the pixel id so you can copy from here and create the constant variable for pixel id and triggering event will be the view content and to object properties and you must be select the single content because you know that for the view item event that will be the only one product content id that will be the dlb item id you just create the variable so um, how can you create the variable if i am go to the dlb item id here you can see that dlb item id you just copy from the data layer e-commerce item dot zero dot item id that's the basic thing i am already repeated again and again in my youtube channel so if you go to my youtube uh, channel and you can find out how to create the tag triggers variable all of that so i am not repeat again the same thing i hope you understand so content type that will be the product and you can also if you have a product group then you can select the product group content name that will be the product name it's the same process you can create the variable for content name that will be the product name and that will be the price and and also the currency and after that here you can find out the deduplication configuration that will be the most important thing because if you are set up both browser and server you must be adding the event id because it will be helped to de duplicate you each and every event and triggering that will be the view item trigger so the tiktok view item event is done and now go to add to cart and that will be the same process because that will be also the single product and if you, if you go to the object properties that will be the single product and the similar to view item event so just you just change the triggering that will be the add to cart then next so now for the begin checkout i am open the begin checkout out tag and here also the as is well i am putting the pixel id and triggering event will be the initiate checkout and here you can see that i am putting the sh sha 256 email and two fee and hash hashing phone and hashing email so how can you hashing your email and phone if i am go to the variable section that is here i am using the custom javascript code to hashing the phone and email here you can see that variable i am if i am open it and here you can see that i am putting the code that is the email hash just i am adding the variable and by using this code the email will be the hash as usual for the hash phone so i hope you can understand so back to our tag we can check out so i am hashing phone and email and here you have to select the 
256 parameter and in, in the object properties you must be select the multiple content because begin check out we are using for the multiple product and here in the content section i am using the content array so that is the questions how to you create the array if i go to the um, ads.tiktok.com and extend the parameter section here you can see that tiktok already provided the their schema which schema they are followed you can see that content id but we are using the ga4 schema that is the item id and for the tiktok that will be the content name we and for the ga4 schema that is the content um, item name if I am go to the tag assistant and begin check out event here, you can see that item ID, item name, price, currency, quantity, but for the TikTok schema, you, you can follow the TikTok schema. So you have to convert it to the schema. How you can convert it? it if I am go to the again variable section to show you how I am converted the TikTok schema to GA4 schema. If I am go to the TikTok array, that i am creating here you can see the tiktok array i am just change it to the ga4 similar c with content id that will be the item id the by using this code the schema are automatically converted to the tiktok schema because firstly i am using the tiktok schema content id and our data layer schema is item id product dot item id product dot item name and also the product price product quantity and the content category so that is the by using this code you can easily create the tiktok array so again back to our tag tiktok begin checkout and object properties so you can understand how to we create the tiktok array and currency will be the same value for the value you do not use the single value you have to use the total value and as usual for the d duplicate you have to using the event id and begin checkout so we are done for begin checkout if i am open the purchase event here the same process similar to the begin checkout event see i am using the event and also d duplicate and purchase so I am done for the uh, browser site int, but for the server site int, if your website are set up the GA4 tracking, then you do not create the another tag for server. Just you go to your uh, server container and here you have to create the tag for the TikTok conversion API. Here you can see the TikTok conversion API and that that will be the tiktok event api step.io this tag i am using for server side tagging and here you have to must be select the inherit from client that means if you have any event set up in ga4 ga4 is automatically sending the data to the server that is the basic thing for server side tracking and if you go to my uh, playlist section in youtube then you can understand what is the server side tracking and how it is work and access token so where you can find out the access token if you go to tiktok event manager section and settings option if you scroll it then here you have to find out the access token here you can see the generate access token if you click on it see if you can see that access token are showing here so i am just copy from here and paste on the tag and pixel id and test code also you can find the test code in your test event section here you can see the test event and you can copy from the test event from here you have to select the cookies generate ttp cookies what is the ttp ttp is the tiktok cookies these cookies are dropped on your website when any visitor comes to your website so and we have to using the what TikTok copy ticker. So you just select the custom event name match rejects and you have to one by one adding your event name. So the setup is done. So just if I am go to the preview for both browser and server, the result will be shown. If you go to the event manager section, see a server sign the data is data is perfectly received 
the server site int and if you go to the overview section you can see that also we have to find out the browser site int but you have to find out some issue it's not the matter if your data are coming you have to find out the lots of data you know uh, from your um, tiktok ads that will be not showing here because see that value parameter and also see that value parameter issue one and second one is content id but you if you back to our google tag manager and go to the add to cart event and object properties tiktok are showing that is missing but we are adding already so if your data comes from the tiktok ads that will be not showing in the event manager section so finally we are find we are receiving the data from browser site as usual from the server site so thanks for watching this video. I will see you in the next video with a new topic. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.